tell you something like this, or about this rather. I had to take myself off the book for a little while, man. Huh? Yes. What's going down, Facebook and Twitter family? Um, I've been in the studio a lot. I haven't been on Facebook. And when I finish this, let me turn this off a minute. Sometimes you just like need to take a vacation from shit. And um, a lot of times it's hard when you're living life a certain way and people make mistakes and you still see them in their mistakes. And um, they see you out of your mistakes and people get mad. And um, sometimes, these are kind of dirty, I should clean them. They can say things that can be a little bit, um, how should I say, below the belt. Now you got people that are doing this and a lot of times it's because they hating. Um, but it's all gravy though because at least we can open the we can open a conversation or a door up and start to work on your problems because I don't have to work on mine. So it's cool to me. So last time I got flat I felt a lot of heat coming off the pages. That's why I said I'm going to have to let it cool off. I felt a lot of heat coming off the pages when I put that picture up there. And I know that, and I explained this to people last, I'm going to try to make it quick. I'm not talking into one Pacific person, but one Pacific person reminded me of how lazy the rest of society was. And I put it all together. I said, well, this is why we got a problem. Like, you got nice looking women that want to go out and find mediocre men, men that they won't have a problem with. Then they want to live by a fad and what they think is in or what they think is out. And this is all because they have a problem with their self-esteem. I know about this because I did it. That's cheating the game. So. When you look halfway decent or nice and you think you're just going to go and find someone that's going to be easy for you. Well, you don't have to keep yourself up, take your ass to the gym or even have hair. Because this person that this, this may be a little less attractive or not proportionally cut or whatever you think how easy your trifling ass trying to be. Then you go get into the situation. Now, keep in mind, not only is this person not proportionally cut or whatever else or what you might call I don't know um, let's say end date dated updated what women like now or whatever else but their attitude is the same way there's an attitude that make that made that body get like that a way of life you are what you eat in essence you don't see that because all you see is the way you want it to be easy for yourself. So you go and get your ass trapped. Now, everybody around you is trapped in your situation. Because I bet you everybody's dealing with your situation and you're dealing with it and people are hearing about it. And these so-called easy people are not really so appreciative of you liking their asses. Like They are, but they're not. They get big headed. They can't handle it. They're not made up. They're not that they don't know this is not everybody, but nine times out of ten. They're not going to be part of that makeup. So what are you going to get? Babies, mamas, baby mama dramas, other bitches coming out the woodwork. You understand me? He likes what matches him, idiot. And she like what matches her, idiot. So then you go and I, and I see it. But then it's like, if I see someone slinging mud at my way, just like hating, I said, okay, well, about time for me to let you know some damn things. And now that you're in the growing, you're in the big leagues now, it's time 
to stop babysitting your ass. Because you're in the big leagues now. You're throwing, you're not throwing mud, you're throwing bowlers. And don't get mad at me the way the motherfucker I look. Just because your self-esteem and cause you to go out and get something that you always having a problem with. But you stand behind it. Why? Because you're in denial and you don't want to come to the realization that you have made a lazy ass mistake. So I entitled this track right here. Where's my time at? Wow, that was seven minutes. You understand me? It's just basically out of. I entitled this cheaters. But it might be cheating the game or whatever else, because this is what happens. Then we get a bunch of relationships, a bunch of kids in it, and everything, and people are all over the damn place. And this is why people are fucked up right now, today. Get in when you fit in, stay the fuck in. life right, trying to put myself out there for people to enjoy, but then another time or another way, or at another curve, whatever, motherfuckers be tripping at turn events. Well, I know that people out here, and they're cheating the game, that's right, they're cheating the game, you understand me, uh, trying to make it easy for yourself. Out here and find someone le less attractive than you. Get this gum off the phone. Right now. Uh, I'm gonna speak to everybody because I fell for this shit. So, oh, wait. Wait, wait. Still cruising down these Milwaukee streets, though, diamond in the back type shit. You understand? Being shot of men and a knocky. For the rest of my life, you see. I'm gonna go back into this situation, you understand me? Because sometimes we try to make fans out of that that is best for us because we're lazy and don't want to work on self mentally or physically. Uh, really, I'm gonna put it out here just like this. If you go and find someone that is less attractive, uh, easier for you not to have to do shit for yourself, about yourself, about little elf. Keep the ass women out here that got the game fucked up. That's why the motherfuckers trip on you. Yeah! Because uh, he can't believe someone like you should be interested in someone like he. This is not one person. This is all ladies and all men at the same time. Watch these women out here uh, trying to make it easier for themselves. What? And men? Women just the same. You understand me? Uh. I'm gonna call that fan and what's in date. Hold on, bitch, wait. Let me start this bitch off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait. Shit, that was pretty. I'm gonna talk about all this shit because this is what got the world messed up. <laughs> you wanna trip on people? That, uh, are better with their own kind, should I say, their own color, should I say, their own problems, which be the same, you're gonna try to take your cute ass in an ugly situation, they, they, <laughs> or man, motherfuckers normally try to do that shit to be stars, uh, it's a trap, nowadays motherfuckers ain't are on that, that they should be wet, but leave you all sad, in chat, crying on shoulders. At the same time, you wanna hate on the magnificent both your shoulders. Anyway, lead up against this bitch. Ah, hold on, wait, let me chill this shit. I'm cruising through Milwaukee and shit. A lot of situations. A lot of. A lot of. Talking to one guppy in the big ass sea. Plenty of fish. Uh, hot in the spit. 24, this is crazy. 
Chris, I try to explain who I am. Still sharp and steel and men sharp and meal, but goddamn, I'm hating on. Because everybody fell into that lazy and I didn't want to put me down. But ain't a problem with me. You understand me? The problem, you lay right alongside. Motherfucking the ride. On that side. And stay on that beat. And stay the fuck away from me. Uh. Cause I see the young and dumb still chewing bubble gum. Bubblicious, oh shit, I ain't the one. Spearmint. What kind is that? Where is it at? Right here. Let's try that. It's in fact. Ah! This is just me talking to all the ladies out there. Uh. Yeah. And men just the same, they got the game fucked up. They scratching their heads and shit, man. Uh. Check yourself before you wreck the nation. I'm out. This bitch. One. Hundred. Now, we gonna leave it right there. Um, but, once again, I just need some time from the book. Sometimes you have some situations that itch you and you be like, damn, that's why you... Sometimes you look at people and you want to help them, but they ain't listening. But if they was listening, they would listen. And I'm not the only person that done told people this. But then now you want to be in something so wrong to the point as to where you believe it. You're going to believe it. Now you trying to make everybody else believe this bullshit. I'm trying to tell you that women, with women, there's nothing with wearing weaves. There's nothing with that. But you got to look at yourself and like, damn, we, we, like some of us have really given up. And so now it's the ball headed crave or it's the this or it's the that. But God damn, really? So you're going to change. Women have more power than they think they have. That's why the world is fucked up now. Because men that's running it is dealing with them. That's real fucking talk. That's real fucking talk. Dealing with this shit. And we mad at each other and killing each other and shit. But our counterpart ain't half ass right. So now we're not right. We ain't got shit to look forward to. So we just all over the fucking place. And they're just a different species. And, and, and they're the only ones we can do. That unless you crazy as hell. You're going to go out and be doing up chickens and shit. And this is what we got to deal with. They talk a lot of shit. They got smart mouths. And this is what we have to deal with. Well, that's fine for someone that don't give a shit. But for someone to give a shit, I, I ain't about to hear it. I'm going to tell you about yourself. That's the truth. Because the problem ain't with me. The problem is with you. Where my time at? 13 minutes. I'm out. Y'all keep y'all heads up to see shit coming. One. And I'm back off the book, too. I haven't been on the book. Haven't been reading the pages or anything. I guess if I see a birthday or something come across. If I see that, I'll say happy birthday. But that's about it. One love. Fallback game. Expert level.